Custom Meets Couture fans, we have an amazing show planned for you today. But first, let's see what Lee's up to in the heart of New York City at some really cool events. We're with Adrian Bailone in uh, this beautiful event tonight. Why don't you tell us what brings you here today? I am so excited to be here. I'm, I'm a huge fan of Beloved Star. Great cover-up pieces. I actually just got back from Miami. And um, yeah, I, I just think it's a great thing. And it's so important to be able to dress up your uh, beach and pool attire. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, what are you do up to now? I know you're actually signed to Island Def Jam as a solo artist, working on my solo album. So I'm really, really excited about that. We're actually going to be dropping a single in August, and the album will come out later this year. Okay, well, great. We can't wait to hear it. Thank you so much for doing this interview. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're here with Miss New York. Uh, what's, why don't you tell us what brings you to this wonderful fashion event? Oh, I heard so much about the line, and so far from what I've seen them wearing on the deck, it's gorgeous. So I really wanted to see what it was all about, and I'm really excited to support it. Priya's done a great job. Oh, that's great. And so are you originally from New York? Yes, I grew up in Rochester, which is upstate, so I'm more like on the Canadian side of things. Okay, so <laughs> what have you been up to now? Oh my gosh, I won on June 18th, so so far it's sort of been a little bit of a roll. Everything's been starting great. Um, Miss America's January 14th in Vegas. Everyone can watch on ABC and really been getting ready for that. Uh, my platform's anti-bullying, so I'm working with a lot of schools and organizations on that. Okay, well, we wish you the best of luck and we can't wait to see. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, do you know how it originated? <laughs> you have to keep the hands try. still because you don't want this to wiggle. Okay. So that's a Thanks for watching. Now back to you, Sonny, in the studio. Thanks so much, Lee. I see you're having a blast. Wish I could Who be there. saw Jersey Shore's last week episode? Today, I'm going to talk about the normal, the not so normal, and come on, it's Jersey Shore. What do you expect? Okay, so some of the normal parts. Jay Wow and Roger are still together. I love them. I think it's just so cute. They were in the gym. He was teaching her how to work out, how to fight off all the Italians. Awesome. Sammy and Ronnie, something normal about them is that they're not together, people. I do not want to watch another full season of Jersey Shore where Ronnie and Sammy are the whole act and they're just fighting the whole time. It, people, it ruins everything. Okay, everybody, we gotta love Snooki. I mean, those undies that she was holding, the I Heart Vinnies, those are the cutest things and definitely something that is normal. We never know. Vinny might be hiding something in his suitcase. I guess we gotta just stay tuned into the full season to catch that. Okay guys, now we're gonna touch up on some things that are not so normal. Okay, so the Italian Jersey Shore crew, we see heads to Italy and not one of them speaks a word of Italian except Vinny. Okay guys, let me correct myself on that part. Actually, Vinny, you'll see throughout the episode, was teaching Paulie D how to say the camps are here in Italian. So I guess we can give Paulie D some credit because he is one of my favorites. Another not so normal thing. I love Snooky to death and I hate to dwell on this, but here's a famous line from her last night. That big country that's comprised of England, Britain, and Italy that you can't find on the map Okay, words definitely can't explain that one, but come on everybody, we all still love Snooky. Now, one of my favorite parts of the segment is, what do you expect? It's Jersey Shore. Vinny, Vinny, Vinny. I mean, all he cares about is knowing the age consent. I mean, come on, that's just a little gross. Well, what do you expect, guys? It's Jersey Shore. I mean... One tip, don't let your kids watch the shore. So I kind of, sort of feel bad for Dina, you know, when she was in the club. And we, we know she's attracted to Pauly D, so I guess they were both really drunk. And she had asked Pauly D for a, a kiss. He basically was like, right here, right now. Like, you know, I guess he really didn't want to show that maybe he was dating her or anything. But his face when they were kissing was not a face that you would want to have when you're kissing somebody. It was just like awkward. To me personally, he looked like he was in a lot of pain. You guys definitely leave us a comment. Let us know how you feel. I mean, did you think he wanted to kiss her or he didn't? Let us know. 
Okay, guys, so that's the end of the Jersey Shore news. Be sure to catch it next week, Thursday, on MTV. And definitely check out our website as well at www.gossipmeetscouture.com. Catch us on Twitter at GMC with Ellen S. Again, thanks to Lee, who is out on the field working hard, getting us those really awesome interviews. And remember, guys, don't let the gossip wear your couture. See you next time.